I have a theory that Detective Pikachu is a man trapped inside of a Pokemon's body. Mm. First off, that sink in. do you agree? Well, I have I have some questions. I have some questions up front that will help inform my either agreeing or disagreeing. All right, hit me with them. So when you say it is a man trapped inside of a Pokemon's body, do you mean like... Like like the spirit or the soul of a man that has been like magically trapped by an evil enchantress or something inside of a Pokemon? Or do you mean like a Pikachu-sized human being is physically stuck within the confines of, of, of like a Pikachu skin? Oh, make no mistake. I what, what I'm talking about here is pure cold science. All right? Right. Cause I don't know. I don't know if you remember. Uh, how many of the Pokemon games have you played? I've played. I mean, I only really played like you know the ones for for the Game Boy. That's what that works. You played because you played the first generation, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. There was like the the, the 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 all the colors of the rainbow and the golds and the silvers and the the you know. Sexy Fire Phoenix and all this, that, and the other thing, like whatever. Of course. Who can re- who can forget Pokemon Purple and the giant Rainbow Phoenix? We all remember that. But I want to talk to you specifically about a young boy named Bill. Do you remember Bill, my friend? Bill. Bill. Bill is, is one of my oldest friends. Of course, Bill was the boy who you meet when you break into his house, and he is a Clefairy. And then you talk to this Clefairy man, and then he says, "Hello, I am a real man." Please put me back in my machine so that I may stop being a Clefairy who is talking like a human and go back to being a regular man. And I think that could be what happened to our young lad Detective Pikachu. Wow, that's... yeah. Because think about it. None of the other Pokemon are talking. None of them. None of them have voices except for Detective Pikachu. And I want to think, I want to, I want to believe that the screenwriters of Detective Pikachu are smarter and that the, the screenwriters and filmmakers respect us as a, as a smart, intelligent audience. I want to believe that they respect that mutual intelligence enough to not just make Pikachu being able to talk to one boy and one boy or one boy only being able to understand Pikachu just sort of an arbitrary gimmick on uh, upon which they they you know anchor the film or, or or put you know make just this sort of like little thing that makes the movie possible without which there would be no movie I want to think that there is a smarter you know uh, device employed, and that might that might be it. That is that's a really solid theory that that I can and will get behind. Oh yeah, no, believe you me. If the director of Monsters vs. Aliens didn't make a children's movie that holds up to the scrutiny of a 22 year old man, there will be hell to pay. I guarantee you this. 